The officers provided traumatic details of their experiences on the job, not on the street, but within the department. They say they were in fear of their brothers and sisters in blue. At what point will BPD self-monitor against the department's own known complicit, insidious, and institutional culture of sex and race-based discrimination? Demanding change and accountability. Four city black female police sergeants filed separate lawsuits against the city police department, each seeking $10 million in damages, alleging sexual harassment, racial discrimination, and retaliation. Sergeant Danica Yampierre says the hostile work environment resulted in the premature birth of her baby. Causing me to deliver my baby on the sidewalk without any professional help in 30 degree weather. Jasmine Roulette alleges a white officer sexually harassed her and after she complained, she says co-workers humiliated her. Such as having toy rats placed on my desk throughout the department in efforts to intimidate me. I have been called a snitch after these investigations have been leaked through the department. Sergeant Will I. Grant reported a co-worker for using the N-word against a police applicant. The police commissioner then told me that I was imagining all of the bad things that would happen to me if I reported misconduct. He further stated that I was looking at someone else in a coffin and placing myself in a coffin. Tashauna Gaines left the agency and tried to return to her old rank with the support of the Equal Opportunity Commission, but says she was denied. I was discriminated against, lied to about non-existent policies, and retaliated against by Commissioner Davis and several others appointed by him. We ask, when will the culture of corruption in the Baltimore Police Department finally end? The lawsuit is supported by the National Black Officers Association, the National Association of Black Law Enforcement, and the Baltimore chapter of the NAACP. The Baltimore City Police Department has no comment on the litigation, but they have filed motions to dismiss all the cases. Reporting from City Hall, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.